what's up? Good morning, Smashers. It's Trev coming at you. We're going to be talking to you about uh, some internal external rotations, some shoulder issues. Big surprise, we've all got shoulder issues, and uh, some of us more than others, right? Like this disaster going on on this side. But listen, I have a really good friend of mine, Sarah. She talked to me about uh, having a hard time doing external rotation in the top of movement, in the top of a movement, and uh, for example, like an overhead squat shoulder wants to cave in so the problem is is there's a binding point and a muscle engagement issue and I'm going to show you how to free that all up so we can get into that overhead squat and we don't do this in that overhead squat we actually punch out and really lock that out and get that active shoulder position so the overhead squat gets really easy we don't fatigue on one side and then the other part is when we're getting into a dip so sorry I got to see the top of my head there for a second but we get into a dip when we get to lean forward the hands don't want to come in this way Sarah this is your video Hands don't want to come in this way. If anything, you want to really try when you're at the top of the movement to screw those hands in to wind up the joint capsule because the shoulder joint capsule tightens up. Fibers run this way. So when they wind up like this, we've all seen the example with the shirt, right? When we tuck our hand in the shirt and we cinch it up and then we wind it up, that's a really stable joint. When we unwind it, that's a super loose joint. So we want to make sure that those joints are, that the shoulder joint is really wound up tight. So when we're in the top of that press out on a ring dip or a muscle up or anything like that, when we come down, especially because the strict muscle ups coming up, the, up in uh, regionals uh, this coming weekend, the final set, um, when we're pulling up, we have to transition really, really high. The catch is going to be here. We don't get to catch at the hips because we can't throw the hips up and do that. It's a no rep, right? So when we get here, we want to be able to really press out and wind up that joint capsule, keep those hands as close as possible. Um, I understand when you get fatigued, it's a little harder, but that's something that's gonna make a big difference with stability and making that shoulder feel like it's really coming down and back to sit nice and tight in that, uh, in that glenoid fossa. So without getting really fancy, we wanna wind up the joint. So I'm gonna show you how, because sometimes there's a limitation and you get this really funky pinch point in the front of the shoulder. I'm gonna show you how to unglue that so that joint can actually get into that position properly. So we'll free up the shoulder, we'll free up the scapula, we're gonna get the pec peeled away. We're gonna do it all just like that. Don't make fun of me. I'll come to your house. I swear I'll come to your house. Killer workout, by the way. 210 burpees and five miles in worth of running, all in the span of about an hour. Whoa, it was terrible. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put you in the Glassman Prayer. So Glassman Prayer is we're gonna peel away that lat, that teres, that serratus anterior, that subscap, and a little bit of that pec. We're gonna peel out away so we can get into that overhead position with full shoulder rotation. If you can't rotate your shoulders, you're gonna have nothing but problems. So check this out. We're gonna get a bench. Grab a band, put the band about mid shin height. Shove your hands both through. And then Charlie's Angel at, I almost said that bad word, but Charlie's Angel at shizzle. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna let the band drag you forward. So all the way forward, make sure the elbows are at the edge of the, at the, edge of the bench. You're gonna wind up those arms as much as possible, walk out the elbows, and then just shove your torso all the way through. Just like this. So you can come all the way down, but make sure when you're doing this, the elbows don't cave in like this. You wanna make sure that's as externally rotated as you possibly can. And then just take your body, pulling you forward, locking out the arms, and just shove yourself all the way through. Hang on for how long? Two minutes. I wasn't even sure you could see my head. All I was doing is looking under my armpit. So that's number one, okay? Number two, this is gonna help with that external rotation. Grab the bench. Give it a spin. We got our trusty PVC. You're gonna take a thin band, shove all the way through, right there. And then you're gonna take a piece of PVC. This is where it gets super complicated, okay? This is like calculus-based physics stuff. All you're gonna do is you're gonna take this, turn your head, I realize there's physics, geometry, all kinds of nonsense going on, but the band is just below the elbow, so just distal to the elbow. And then you're gonna take this, you're gonna come all the way apart, and then you're gonna, oh, you're gonna rotate out like this and you're gonna hang out like this. Now there's a little more of an advanced version of this. You're not gonna like it, but it's effective. So we're gonna get back into the neutral position. Check this out. This is so horrible. You're gonna get closer to the edge and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna go like this. Oh, you're gonna wind it up and then you're gonna take your torso and you're gonna shove it all the way through as far down as you can, and you're gonna feel that practically tearing the lat and the teres right off the humerus. That's gonna help restore a lot of that external rotation. So when you get into this position, you can get that fully externally rotated arm and punch out at the top of a snatch overhead squat, anything like that. All right, that's number two. 
Number three is, so awful, we're gonna peel away that peck. And we got one more after this, because there's four homework bits to do. You're gonna do them all too, because I'm gonna call you later and find out. So we're gonna take a, uh, use a, use a, a 35 pound bar if you can. This is a 45, just because I was using it earlier. We're gonna come all the way around. You're gonna hang over this. The important part is you're gonna externally rotate. I got a 35 pound kettlebell. You're gonna take a wide stance. You're gonna trap the pec, major, the deltoid, all this stuff in here. Just trap it on that bar. Reach down, grab this. Turn it all the way this way. Sink into this. Just let gravity be your friend. It's kind of a friend of me, right? It's not a friend or an enemy, it's just a bit of both because it's right now this sucks. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna swing back and forth, going across those fibers, and just separating that like layers of an onion. Like I said yesterday, like Brittany and Justin's relationship, just separate it. Oh, and that's horrible. All right, that's number three. Number four, let me peel this band off. Make sure you can still see my big round head right here. So check this out. We're gonna take a band. Wrap it up here. Got some good music in the background, and I really hope it doesn't amp up my video. So you're gonna take this, you're gonna wind up really tight. This is gonna help recover a lot of that external rotation. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your arm all the way back behind you. So you can see I'm on both knees. Let me move this bench out of the way first. So take the band, wind it up into the hand. Let it twist all the way behind you like you're being led down the hallway to prison, like I always say, all right? Like a bully, right? And you're just gonna let it peel the arm away. So you're letting it drag the arm up and away from the rib cage. I don't wanna plant it against the rib cage. And then just hang out like this, nice side chest. The higher the chest, the better. Because this is not a stretch. Doing this, hanging out for how long? Give me a hint. Wiggling the fingers. Yeah, two minutes, that's right. Hang out like this and you're gonna feel it all down the anterior portion. So now we're recovering that internal rotation. You need both, because there's a transition in that muscle up from internal to external rotation. So you need to be able to do all that. Hang out like this, do both sides, good side and bad side. Don't just favor one side, because you're gonna have one good side, one bad side. Then you're gonna be all jacked up. Hey, listen, that's how you free up the shoulders. That's how you peel away all that tissue. I'm Trev, Smashworks. You guys have an awesome day. I'll see you guys tomorrow.